Hello to all my beginning ballet students. Um, I'm really excited. We're going to do a at-home ballet class that you can do in your kitchen um, or your living room or bedroom, wherever there's some space. Um, but I cleared out uh, my dining table and I'm going to do it here in my kitchen and you can join along. So make sure you have your hair up and out of your face. That helps you to be able to dance better because it's not going to be a distraction. And make sure you get rid of any distractions that might be around you so you can really focus on your ballet class. And um, you can get into your tights and your leotard, or you can wear shorts and a t-shirt, whatever you feel comfortable in. And today I'm going to wear my socks because I left my ballet shoes at the studio, unfortunately. So you can wear socks with me or be barefoot. Um, or put on your ballet shoes. So once you're all ready to go, we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with a little warm up here on the floor. We do our stretches and our warm up. So first of all, we have to wake up our feet to get them ready to point. So we're going to start with two pencil straight legs out in front of you. Let's point our feet nice and strong and let's wake up those toes. So let's flex our feet up to the sky and let's reach and say hello toes and point your feet away and say goodbye toes. Flex those feet and say hello toes. And point your feet and say goodbye toes. You can say it along with me at home. Flex those feet and say hello toes. And point your feet, say goodbye toes. One more time. Flex your feet and say hello toes. And point your feet, say goodbye toes. And then we can point one, flex the other, make a bunny ear, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and let's see if we can do it faster, switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, and switch, good job, all right, we got to stretch out the backs of our legs now, so let's look up into the sky, sit up tall, 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 look way up high, and I see the sun shining today, so let's all reach up, let's grab some sunshine in our hands, and reach down, put on your toes, we want to get our toes nice and warm. Let's do it again. Let's look up high, high, high in the sky. Sit up tall, tummies in. And hmm, what else do we see? Do you see the big fluffy clouds? Let's all make a big cloud above our head. Make a big fluffy cloud. Mine's really big today. Let's try to catch the cloud. Oh, good. And put the cloud on your toes. Very good. When you touch your toes, can you keep your knees pencil, pencil straight? Let's do it one more time. Look up in the sky, we gotta sit up tall, tall, tall. What else do we see? I see a rainbow. Do you see a rainbow in the sky? So let's make our big rainbow. Reach up high, make your big rainbow and catch it in your hands. Put your rainbow on your toes. Very, very good. Okay, let's give our knees a big hug. You wanna curl into a little ball. We're gonna start off by being shy turtles. So can you show me how a shy turtle would hide in their turtle shell? They're gonna hide all the way down. And then let's be brave turtles that sit up tall, tall, tall. Can you show me your long swan neck? Tall, tall, tall out of your turtle shell. And let's be shy turtles again. Shy turtles go hide in their turtle shell. And let's be brave, brave, brave turtles. Show me your ballet posture. When we're brave turtles, look how tall we sit. Very, very tall to the sky. Good, and let's be, again, let's be shy turtles. Hide in your turtle shell. And let's be brave turtles, long and beautiful neck. One more time, shy turtles. And brave turtles, very good. Okay, we're gonna do a new one. This one works on our tummy muscles for ballet, which are very important. We are going to be snowflakes, so it's really fun. Everyone make a snowflake. Hug your knees into your chest and pick your toes up off the floor. See how many feet are off the floor? We are gonna be snowballs first. So hug your knees in our snowball. And then we're gonna make it snow in our kitchens. So open up your snowflake and you make it snow. Hold your legs out and hug it in. Be a snowball, hold your snowball tight. Don't let your feet touch the floor, try to balance. And let's make it snow. Let's do it one more time. Make yourself into a little snowball. Hold your knees in tight and open up, hold, make it snow. And come down, good job. Okay, 
around me here, we are going to be butterflies. So I hope you remember how to make a butterfly at home. Do it with me. Take one foot and we put peanut butter on it. That's kind of silly, huh? And we take another foot and we put jelly on it. And then we stick our feet together. We make our little butterfly. Hold your toes together and flap your butterfly wings. We're gonna start to go on a little butterfly journey. Today, hmm, maybe at home, you could tell me where you want to fly today. I think I'm gonna fly to the flower garden because that's where butterflies love to go. So we can get some fresh air. Let's start to fly our butterfly wings and we've gotta go around the trees and keep flying your butterfly wings. And then we've gotta go around the mountains. Good job, and keep flying your butterfly wings. And we've gotta go underneath the tunnel. So let's duck and go underneath the tunnel. And come back up and fly your butterfly wings. Good job. Oh no, did you hear that? I thought I heard the butterfly catcher. We better hide from the butterfly catcher, so everyone reach your wings up and go down to the floor. Can you touch the floor? Stay down, I'll tell you when the butterfly catcher is gone. Stay down, stay down, big stretch. Let's look up, peek right, peek left. Is the butterfly catcher gone? I think the butterfly catcher is gone, we made it. Whew. Okay, we're safe. All right, keep flying. And I think I see my favorite flower. I'm gonna go land on my favorite flower. You can land on yours too. To land, we have to put our butterfly brakes on. So push those knees down to the floor. Big stretch for your hips, butterfly brakes. And we're there, good job. Okay, let's open up our legs. We're gonna make a big straddle. I wanna see straight, straight knees. When you're in your straddle, we have to sit on our bottoms. We have to have our knees facing the sky and we can make our toes face the sky as well. We are gonna start off by giving our knees a kiss. So let's um, do our right knee first. So go ahead and give your knee a kiss. We love our knees. Let's give our other knee a kiss. Good job. And now let's give our toes a tickle. So let's reach out and over and give those toes a tickle, 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 tickle. Big stretch and up. Let's go to the other side. Over and give those toes a tickle, 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 tickle. And all the way up. Very good. Arms out to the side. We're going to try our TikToks next. Ready? So let's go. Tick tock like a clock. Make sure you say it with me because that's the fun of doing TikToks, right? Tick tock like a clock. Tick tock tock like a clock tick tock like a clock and finish up tall reach for the sky very good and i want to see if you have been stretching at home so can you show me if you can put one elbow on the floor in front of you you have to stay on your bottom you have to keep those knees facing the ceiling can anyone show me putting two elbows on the floor. Wow, that's a big stretch. Keep working on it. And if you can do that easily, maybe we can try to put our foreheads to the floor. Let's see, can we touch our foreheads to the floor? <gasps> Excellent, if you did it, good job. If you're still working on getting your straddle, that's okay, keep practicing. It's very important to always try our best, right? Okay, after you've done um, your straddle stretch, we are gonna go on our tummies next, and we're gonna do our bananas. So it's very important to practice our bananas at home because that's how we keep our backs nice and strong for our ballet muscles. So I want everyone to go on their tummies with me. Reach your arms out in front of you, and we are going to do bananas. We're gonna count to three. Can you count with me? Ready? One, two, three. Banana, and you're gonna lift your legs up to the sky, lift your arms up to the sky, hold it, and come down. Make sure you land softly. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Banana, legs up, arms up, reach, hold it, and come down. I wanna see if anyone can go up higher than Miss Hannah. Ready, let's try it again. One, two, three. Banana, 
lift those legs up, hold. And if I was there, I would come give you a big stretch, but hold it. Maybe your grown up can give you a big stretch at home. And come down. Good job, those are hard. Okay, it's time to work on our donuts. I hope you've been practicing your donuts at home. So let's bend our knees, touch your toes together, come up onto two straight arms, look up to the ceiling, and we're gonna try to make a donut. To make your donut, you touch your toes to your head, and come down. Very good. You can tell me what flavor your donut was. And from there, we're gonna hop up onto our hands and feet. So, onto your hands and feet. I have some pretty sticky, sticky hands. After eating all those donuts, they've gotten really sticky and sugary. So let's go ahead and let's see if our hands will stick to the floor. I bet they will. Oh my goodness, my hands are stuck. Are your hands stuck at home? Oh no, oh dear. Okay, well, let's see if we can straighten our knees. So we wanna bring our feet nice and close to our hands. And we're gonna do sticky hands. One, two, three. Sticky hands, straight knees, straight arms. Oh my goodness, they're still stuck. And let's come down, let's try it again. Ready, one, two, three, sticky hands. And come down, oh my goodness. Mine are still stuck. Let's try it one last time, ready? One, two, three, sticky hands. Oh, they're stuck, they're stuck. And come down, oh well, my hands. Still we're stuck to the floor, but I got a good stretch. So let's wash our hands now with soap and water. We gotta peel them up off the floor. Oh, oh, good job. All right, soap and water, wash all of the stickies off your hands. It's so important to wash your hands, right? And now that our hands are nice and clean, we can jump up and be starfish. So ready, do it with me. We're gonna count to four. Here we go, ready? One, two, three, four, starfish! And jump all the way down. Make sure you make a big, big starfish. I'm gonna scoop back and do it again. Do it with me, ready? One, two, three, starfish! Good job, and down. Okay, very good dancers. So, we are all finished now with our warm up and our stretches. So now we can move on and do the next part of class. We're gonna do walks around the room. So make sure you have enough space to walk around in a circle. We're gonna practice our ballet walks, okay? Here we go. First position and elevate rise. Then we'll go for a walk. High, high, run away. Tippy, tippy toes. Go around the whole room. However much space you have. And stay in your highest releve. Straight pencil knees. Arms to high fit. And keep going. High, high releve. Tippy, tippy toes. Now let's open our arms to second position. We want rounded hugs like you're gonna give, or rounded arms like you're gonna give someone a hug. And keep going, tippy toe walks. Highs relevé, long swan necks. There we go, let's turn our second position into butterfly arms. So we go softly up and softly down. Good job, up and down. And up and down. Now let's go forward and back. Forward and back. And forwards and back. Good job. Next, we're going to try our marches. Here we go with our marches. Hands on your waist. Let's go for a march. Pick up your knees. March, 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 march. Point at your toes when you pick up the feet. March, march. Chasse is just like a gallop. Maybe we can 
to our chasse's today with our arms in first. Chasse. Degage's music. Here we go. Ready? Keep doing Degage's little kicks. Brush, step, brush, step. Swing the toes when you brush. Brush, step. Nice straight pencil knees. Point the toes off the floor. Keep brushing. Good job. yourself with and we're going to face our bar put two hands on the bar okay but we're going to start off our bar with our demi plies so i hope you remember what demi plie means i'll let you think about it for just a second but remember you can say it with me demi means little or small and plie means to bend when we do our demi plies, we make a diamond shape with our legs. So let's find our demi plie music and let's go ahead and do our plies together. Here we go. We make a diamond, hold on to our bar, and we go demi plie, make a diamond, and straighten again. Demi plie, and straighten. Good. Again, demi plie. And straighten one more time. Demi plie. Nice diamond. Set those knees. Tell them to turn out. Let's bring our legs to second position. Do it again. Demi plie. Little bend and straighten. We don't want to go too far down. We're just warming up our knees and our hips. Demi plie. And stretch. We go nice and slow. Holding on to something to keep our balance. Demi plie. And stretch. One more time, demi plie, and stretch. Let's bring our feet together now. We're going to elevate. Elevate means to rise. We're gonna bring one arm to high fit. We'll bring the other arm to high fit. We have to think, tummies in, pull your bubble bellies in, bottoms under, get rid of your banana back, make sure you have a flat, flat back, and let's try to balance. Let's count to four, ready? One. Two, three, four, and toss your balloon in the sky as you come down. And we always finish with a brave turtleneck, tummy to spine. Okay, I'm going back here so you can see my feet. We're going to do our toe pushes, ball of the foot, and push the toes. Ball of the foot, and push the toes. Strong toes push, and ball of the foot, close first. Another leg, ball of the foot, and push the toes. Ball of the foot, and push the toes. Ball of the foot, and push the toes. Ball of the foot, close first. Right leg again, ball of the foot, and push. Ball of the foot, and push the toes. Ball of the foot, and push. Toes close first, and left. Toes push, ball of the foot, and push the toes. Ball of the foot, and push the toes. Ball of the foot, close first. Let's elevate our eyes up and see if we can count to eight this time. Rise up and count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job and finish tall. Okay, next we do our PKs, and PK means to prick. So when we do our PKs, we want straight, straight knees. We want pointed, pointed toes. And when we tap our toe to the floor, we pick it up really fast again. 
as if something sharp is on the floor and um, we're saying, ow! And when we do our PKs, we are gonna count to eight. Eight is our magic number. So we're gonna do eight to the front, and then again, eight to the front, and then eight to the side, again, eight to the side. You can count with me. Here's our PK music, ready? Go right leg PK, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Point to toes, straight, straight knees, and close to first left leg front. PK, 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 PK. Again, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And side, two, three, four. It's like a little tap and then pick up the toe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do it again. Ready, Danny plie. And this time we'll go a little slower. Right leg to the front. PK one. tell me at home what color invisible pot of paint you're going to use today. Awesome. Okay, hold your pot of paint up, show it to me, and then we're going to find a first position with your feet. Go ahead and put your pot of paint right between your feet. Hold on to your chair or counter something to balance on. And we're going to take our right leg first. We're going to stir the paint with our toes. Get lots of paint all over your toes. And then put your toe at your ankle so we can paint an invisible stripe up our leg. Ready? We start in coupe. And you can say it with me. We're going to go up, up, up the leg. And down, down, down the leg. Again. Up, up. And down and down and down the leg. Up, up, up the leg. Let's let go. Arms to high fifth. We must balance. Ready? One, two, three, four. And close first. Shake all the paint off that foot. We've got to do our left leg now. So take your left foot, stir it in your paint. I think today I'm going to use some blue paint with maybe some red sparkles in it. So make sure you get all that paint on your foot, put your toe at your ankle in coupe, and we're gonna go up, up, up the leg, and down, down, down the leg. Up, up, up the leg to retire, down, down, down to coupe. Up, up, up the leg, let go of your bar, let's balance and count to four. One, two, first and shake all the paint off that foot. Now balancing on the one leg is kind of tricky so it's important that we still practice it at home and if you weren't able to let go of your chair or table that's okay just keep trying your best and keep practicing it. Okay next we have our sautés and échappés. Now remember sauté means what? To jump. Yes good job and échappé means Yes, to escape. So our feet escape away from each other and then come back in. We are gonna do our ballet number of eight. So you can count with me. Ready? We're gonna plie, make a diamond. So take one, diamond. So take two, diamond. So take three, diamond. So take four, plie. Jump, so take five, plie. So take six. Plie, saute seven, plie, saute eight, quiet landing, sweet échappé, and close one, échappé open, and close two, échappé open, échappé close, échappé open, 
four more. Ready? It should pay open. It should pay close. It should pay open. It should pay close. It should pay open and close. It should pay open and close. Good job. It's very important to still practice our jumps at home, so make sure you do your sautés and échappés. Next, we're going to do our corps de bras. Here's your inner arms. So follow along with me, feet in first position, arms low, fists in the tall, tall, tall. And we're going to bring arms to first, arms to second, arms low, Okay, dancers, before we finish class, I want you to pause the video for just one moment, and you're gonna go find something in your house, like a stuffed animal maybe, or a little pillow, or something that you can jump over, because we are gonna practice our soda shaw leaps. We're gonna go run, 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 leap over your stuffed animal. We'll see. Alrighty, I wasn't able to find a stuffed animal, but I did find one of my leg warmers. So I'm going to put my leg warmer on the floor and I'm going to practice my leap over that. I'm just going to do it one time, but then I'm going to keep the music playing. And I want you to run back around and do it again a couple more times just to really get some practice in on your leaps. today um, we are going to play a game of animal dance so I want to see your animal dances at home I'm going to play the music and I'm going to call out the animal and you're going to try to dance um, how that animal would move okay so we are going to start with a flamingo how would a flamingo dance go ahead and go Oh, 
Okay, next animal is going to be a cat. How would a cat dance? Next animal is going to be a crab at the beach. And freeze. When the music stops, we freeze. Good job. Okay, next animal is going to be a big bear. How'd a bear move? Great job, everyone. All right, next animal is going to be a bird. Big wings fly around your house. Okay, next animal is going to be a giraffe. Very, very tall giraffe. Can I see tall, tall, tall up on your tippy toes, long necks? And show me your giraffe walks. Good job. Next animal is going to be a monkey. our animal dance now by being mermaids. So let me find my mermaid music. For our mermaid music, we're gonna have slow music. So we do slow movements. Let's do our side. Show off your mermaid tail. And you can show your mermaid hair. And then you can dive into the water and swim around. Good. Alrighty, dancers. Thanks so much for doing class with me at home. I'm so proud of you all. Keep practicing and try to do this class once a week or maybe twice a week if you can so that when we come back after the break, you remember all your ballet terms and ballet steps. Great job, everyone, and thanks for joining me. I miss you all. Bye-bye.